So here's the video um, on the review of the uh, GPS device that I bought on eBay. Um, this is how it looks. You'll see it on there if you go to eBay. Um, here's the uh, SOS button. This is where the SIM card goes in. This is a pain in the ass. You have to push in really hard, so if you have long fingernails, you hear it click and then it'll, uh, the SIM card will come out there. Um, oh, and there's also like a direction that the SIM card goes in. Uh, so, review, I'll give you the, the spill on it, see, it won't even go in now, look. I mean, your fingernail has to be pretty long to get in there. See, I got a long fingernail, which is actually kind of dirty. It's got a lint underneath that fingernail. Anyways, um, there's a number on the back that you give to your provider. What you do is you you buy it. Comes in the mail from Hong Kong and or China, or I think it's uh, the same place. Um, but you get it and it comes with these instructions here that are very poor quality um, like it just gives you like the specs on this side and then this side it says like you know please insert the sim and to boot it up you just press the button for a long period of time and then shut down you press again and then that to set the APN number it says send pound 802 and then pound and then your APN number which you can get online depending on your provider. What I did was just googled AT&T APN and it came up the game with the number so I put that in there and also when you do the APN search it also comes with your username and login password so you put that in with the pounds in between and then the device password which is factory setting of 0000, zero, zero, zero. And uh, you send that over to the phone, and um, nothing happens. And then you send in your SOS number, who you want it to call in case of emergency, and it's supposed to to come back, you know, config OK, which it doesn't do. Um, what I did, I bought it, went to AT and T, got the SIM card. Um, I put like. It was a prepaid SIM card. Um, I put five dollars, which is roughly fifty megabytes of data or data, and um, I put it in there. And they gave me the phone number for the GPS because you know it comes with the SIM card. And uh, I tried sending the the codes, and nothing happened. And I tried it uh, all capital letters, all lowercase letters. Uh, everything was correct and uh, it just for some reason just would not work so I contacted the guy on eBay because this is where I bought it from and uh, he sent me a uh, an email um, because I told him the directions the manual that it comes with sucks so do you have any other directions and uh, or for you know information and stuff. So he says yes. Uh, let me email you. So I give him my email address, and um, when he e emails me, he emails me this one, which is for a car and stuff. So I was kind of pissed, and. Um, I looked at the settings again on there and it was completely different on initializing the setup. Um, so I go, I, I call AT&T because I've, I'm pretty sure that the settings were in this manual was correct. So I call AT&T and they said, well, you have to activate the card now. So that would be another $25 just to activate it. And um, so I pay the $25, which is a total of $30 now that I've spent. And um, uh, for sure, I was like, oh, okay, that's all it was. Maybe it works now. 
sure shit, it doesn't even work. Um, I contacted the guy again. I said, I did everything I'm supposed to on it, and it's not having a signal. And this is day two now, and he has not contacted me on eBay. So my advice is this is a piece of shit. Don't not even buy it. Uh, you'll see it on there. Um, you just go in, type in uh, you know GPS, and it'll definitely come up. It looks just like that on the picture also. So do not buy this. Um, I'm actually going to pull GPS up here, and uh, I'll get the guy's name and everything for you. Uh, let me pull it up. Yeah, so do not buy it. This is the review. This is a terrible product. Doesn't work. Don't waste your money. You get what you pay for. Yeah, it's cheap, and you're basically just getting a freaking a piece of plastic with some holes and some buttons on it, and a few clockwork that lights some shit up. So, and AT&T was terrible with customer service. I got transferred eight times because they have no idea what the GPS device is. I was so pissed off. Um, I almost didn't get a refund. I'm very lucky I did. So, don't buy it. All right, so here's the guy's name. When you go on to eBay, right there. Come on, focus, piece of crap. There you go. Link Delight EU. That's who it's from. All right, it's sixteen ninety nine. Free shipping from China. This is the device. Do not buy it. This was a terrible product. This is what the ad looks like below. Yeah, it's got some high definition pictures and stuff. It isn't worth it. it doesn't work. This is the type of stuff that you have to send to it these type of digits here see the pounds and 703 and stuff and that'll 
that'll do the power saving mode but it's the exact same way when setting it up so it can be kind of confusing and I'm pretty damn sure I did it right because I did it probably a hundred times and uh, yeah you get what you pay for this was a piece of shit so don't buy it alright so that's pretty much it that's the video I want to put that out there uh, to help other people that's maybe looking for a, a GPS personal tracker locator uh, you're, you're better off just buying a spot which is what I did now yeah you know? so in case you don't know what the spot GPS is I did buy one and they look like these I look like this this is the one I bought here this is what it looks like that's what you want gosh there, there we go that's what you want right there spot they're orange I got a really good deal on this one but anyways so that's the video hope you enjoyed hope this helps you make a decision and goodbye